Yeah. That gave me a chill. Yeah. That was wild. That's when I saw the blood rushing across the floor. What's going on guys? We are here for another video from the Ginny Wade House in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Now we have some interesting guests with us tonight and many of you folks on YouTube probably know them. We've got Dylan and Steve with Haunted Nights What's and they're up, joining us tonight. Uh, first impressions of the house, what are you guys feeling here? It's got a weird feeling, especially upstairs, right? Like, which kind of surprised me because she died downstairs, she was left in the basement, but when I went upstairs, like all the hair on my arms stood up, I felt a little bit uncomfortable, so I don't know, I'm interested to see kind of what goes on up there in particular. I I'm really excited to get in here. This entire city, this entire town is insane. There's a ton of history. Um, I'm excited to see what we get in terms of activity, if it's more residual or if it's intelligent. So, look forward to it. Thank you for having yeah, us out you. too. Super excited about it and uh, I think we're in for a good night. We are standing in the middle of Gettysburg in, in the town, but this area back in the day was still part of the battlefield. So even though we are in the town of Gettysburg back in that day, the Confederates were actually inhabiting much of what we see behind us. So if you go down to the Farnsworth house, they have all those bullet holes, but they were firing this way. So we are standing in what would have been a very, very hostile environment during that, that stretch of the battle. Jenny Wade was the only civilian to die in the Battle of Gettysburg. Now you may be wondering what is the significance of that. She was actually baking bread and delivering it at night to Union soldiers. So she is seen as an American hero. Hello! <laughs> well, good evening. <laughs> How are you doing, Mrs. Wade? Okay, hang on. Okay, no, guys, I'm sorry. This is Chris, and Chris is debuting tonight for us as Ginny Wade's mother. Yes. I suppose you have come to hear the story of my daughter, Jenny. We have. Do you know that this is called the Jenny Wade house? But my daughter never lived here. However, she will die here. What you're looking at on the side of this brick, it's not a recreation. This house will be hit over 150 times by bullets. One of those bullets will be fatal. It will enter right through this door. Then it will go through this door. My daughter was at this very dough tray baking bread for the soldiers. I was at the fire, tending the fire and making the dough that she was making. On July 3rd, the day will start like every day does for my daughter. She will read from the scriptures. But this day was different. Her readings were all about death and sorrow. My eldest daughter, Georgia, was in that room with her new baby that had been born on the 26th of June. We had no way of knowing what would befall us starting the first day of July. She will come here for safety and to help her sister. And look what will end up happening. Well, Miss Georgia is laying in there. Jenny reads from the scriptures. Georgia will scream, Mama, make her stop. Jenny will stop. She's going to walk right through here and around this door that was placed in this position 
by me. I felt it would keep my daughter safe. At 8.30 in the morning, a sharpshooter's bullet is going to come right through that lower bullet hole. It will then go through this one. It's going to enter under my daughter's left shoulder blade, pierce her heart. They tell me that she had died before she landed on that floor at age 20. I was still there at the fire. It was the third day of the battle. It was if heaven and hell were crashing together. I didn't hear what had gone on. I turned and looked and saw my daughter laying on the floor. I thought she had fainted, so I rushed over to revive her. That's when I saw the blood rushing across the floor and I knew they tell me that I went into shock because I will calmly walk in to my daughter, Georgia, and say, Georgia, your sister is dead. Georgia will become hysterical. She will scream so loudly that it will bring Union soldiers bursting through that door. They'll later say in their memoirs, that, that was a sight they will never forget. You're used to seeing soldiers dead in the field, but not a beautiful 20-year-old girl who was only assisting the soldiers. They will immediately decide that they must get the rest of us to safety, but that will not be the only death. Jenny Wade, just from my research, had an infamous quote that was almost like a bad omen now that you listen to it. But can you, can you recite that quote for us? Do you know it? Yes. When Jenny goes in to speak to her sister for the final time, she will say, if anyone is to die, in this house today. I hope it is me. For Georgia, you have that little baby. Then she will turn and walk around this store where her life will end. Ghost. This is the first room that I walked into that like the hair on my arm stood up. Like I felt weird in here. Yeah. Well, so we uh, we were in here last night and we were getting some responses, but they, they get a lot with this chain moving and they think it's two little boys. Here's what I'll tell you. All the tours I've given here, hundreds and hundreds, this room is heavy. My guests don't like it. They're ready to get over to this side. I cannot tell you how many times people have said, once they walk through to the other side, it's like a weight is lifted. It feels totally different on this side. So there is obviously something going on on this side. Yes, that chain moves. I always wait and talk to people once there's no vibration on the floor. So there's no margin there. Sometimes that thing is just going like crazy. No reason. I joke that that has been photographed as many times as the Jenny Wade statue because it is that active. We really have no idea why, if it's children or one of the ways the spirits like to show us that they are in this house. All right. Little kid goes, great, you're great. Hello. They just want to say hello. Great. <laughs> and then that's the original plank that she would have bled out on, correct? Yes, but they had been replaced. We were fortunate enough to obtain 
one of the three boards that were saved. And all of this dark area is blood. The dark staining is indeed her blood. Now this is the cellar where we were all come to survive the battle. My daughter will be laid here. We will spend a heart-wrenching 18 hours in the cellar with her body. Well, that concludes our history portion. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And huge thanks to Chris for having yes, us thank out. Thank you very much. You're welcome. But I do think it's time that we actually start investigating and we get all the lights off and we start to see what goes bump in the night here. But we have a lot of history to work off of. So let's get to it. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we are inside. We're getting ready to investigate. We've got the equipment all out. We've got quite, quite a bit of equipment. What is that? The motion detector by the stairs. And then we're on the Ooh, that's hitting yellow. Is this Jenny? So kind of the plan that we have for tonight is we're going to essentially move the same path that Jenny moved when she was killed. So she started in the parlor, obviously she came into the kitchen, and then her body was taken then upstairs through the two rooms and then down to the cellar. The one behind you just blinked red, right blue light right there. Oh, so that's a no. That's a no. So let, I'm going to step. You want to start? Like over here? Yeah, we can. So I think because of the floors being so uneven that when we move that rim pod might hit. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just down. Yeah. So again, yep. Jenny started in this room. She was actually reading the scripture. That's how she started every single day. And what's what's interesting is that particular day she was reading from Psalms about war essentially yeah. and death. There's just something on the stairs. Yeah, I just, I just heard something. I mean, your motion detector's been picking up something on the stairs the entire time. Are you coming down the stairs? Talk to us. I heard a footstep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. Thank you. Is this Jenny? Ooh. Ooh. Jenny, how many, how many of you are in the home with us tonight? Do you have other friends or family here? Oh, that just said yes. Yeah. Ah, so we're not alone. Yep, all good again. Yeah. Cool. So she has other friends and family here tonight. Is your father in the cellar? Are the soldiers here with us tonight? No. That just no. We went off now. All right, so it's not the soldiers. Well, there's two little boys that are supposed to be upstairs as right. well. Four friends, yeah. Right. There's a little girl too that's supposed to be up there. Jenny, do you have any anger towards the Confederates that ended up taking your life? Yeah, do you hold resentment against them? No. 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 Better than me? Ooh, oh. Ooh. Yeah. That was on her... Uh, on, the on her dough tray, dough yeah. EMF just right. spiked. The dough tray has a lot of activity, actually. I'm a soldier in the army that is equivalent to the Union now. Are you comfortable that I'm here? Is that okay? Yes. yes. That's wild, actually. That's really cool. So, Jenny, we're going to try and walk the same walk that you walk that fateful day for you so whenever you're ready for us to move into this room can you make multiple devices go off at once for us just to show us that you can hear and understand what we're saying that's one any other devices you want to set off for us two, two. 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 how many more can you set off that one again. There's some over by the fireplace in your dough tray. Can you make those go off? Oh, that's Rip all over there by the dough yeah. tray. That's actually crazy. That is that's crazy. Good. Thank you, Jenny. Now, there's one sitting on top of your dough tray. 
Yeah, and that's aimed right at the stairwell, and that uses the vulture sauna detector. Do you like having visitors? Coming to tell your story? No. No. Do you like the attention that your sister Georgia brought you in your story? No. No. But that that also well. could be her dad. Yeah, that's true. That could be Mr. Wade. And the envoy just went off in there on top of the mantle. Did it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, guys, we literally have stuff everywhere right now. We yeah, we're trying to give them, because the thing is, folks, is we don't know how they interact yeah. or, or what it takes for them to set off certain devices. So I feel like if we have out as much as we can that use different technology to detect movement or uh, interaction, then I feel like you're giving the entities the best chance of communicating. I know that some would probably argue that we have out too much right now, but, I mean, we've had her or whatever's here interact with a variety of different and things. What might work for one entity might not work for the other, or at one particular time might not work. You know what I mean? We don't know. Like you said, we don't know what's going to work, so why not? Cat ball. Right. Cat ball. So almost every single thing we've had out so far has gone off. And you have to touch the cat ball right. to have it go off. And we've been moving it. And now it's over here. Motion detector. Do you want us to go upstairs? Are you trying to lead us upstairs? Did you guys hear that noise? What did you hear? Oh, shh. Oh, like footsteps. I thought I just oh, like footsteps. Yeah, or like a knock. There's so much more. If you want us to go upstairs, can you set off one of these pink lights on the stairwell? There's in there. Okay, I have my spirit box. I'm wondering if we should just run a spirit box session in here. Because, I mean, we're getting yeah quite a bit of activity. Yeah. See if they want to actually communicate. Yeah, if there's multiple people here yeah. too, it's probably difficult to interpret. Yeah. So that's me moving. Right, right. That's, that's weird. That, new, that, yeah, that's that motion detector by the stairs has been going on. So like the stairs. Oh, okay. oh hello. hello. That was a female that was voice that said hello. Are we speaking with Jenny Wade? That said yes. Yeah, that said yes. Jenny, is your family here with us tonight? Is Georgia here? Oh. Angry. 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 Sure angry. As the lamb goes off. Yeah. Leave? Do you want us to leave? Enough. 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 Are you tired of us being here? This is a yes. That little green. Insane? There's a lot going on. How many entities are in here with us right now? It doesn't matter which side, I couldn't make out the last yeah. word. Yeah. Two sides of the house, maybe? Right. Upstairs? George. Yeah, George. That was clear. So, George scratched somebody upstairs? Well, that was what she used to call her sister. Like, George that was and Georgie. Yeah. Georgie, George. Yeah. Well, why would she scratch somebody? Did someone upset Georgia? What the heck? I think it's for me moving, but that was secured. That's been on there. Yeah, that's been on there. Well, I mean, it came on the plug too, right? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's on there, on there. Right. Yeah, it's plugged in. I can't say that it was paranormal, but yeah. I mean, it's been yeah. secured the yeah. entire time. Yeah. And, uh, was that you? Did you knock the microphone off the Pilates camera? 
Everyone. You're gonna knock everybody's mic? Probably <laughs> do. So, I'm gonna turn the top on There's a lot of weirdness going on right now. That thing had to stop. Yeah. And that just went off again yeah. behind me? Yes. I thought I just heard something move behind me. In there? Yeah. Can you make a loud, audible noise in this home? Something upstairs? Yeah. Okay. Do you want us to go upstairs? Touch one of these devices over here. Sounds like footsteps. Yeah. Touch one of these devices over here, near the fireplace, if you'd like us to go upstairs. I said yes. You just touch the top of them when they let up. They make some noise. They're not going to hurt you. We appreciate you interacting with us. That just flashed again behind you. And again, your phone can't even set that off. It's right. algorithmic based EMF detection. I was what was that? I was what was that? I keep hearing stuff behind me in that room. That was loud. I don't know what, what that is. Do you want to see if your 60 picks up anything? Yeah. Yeah. Do a quiet session start. Let me uh, turn this yeah. off. Yeah. Just so we don't get any interference. All right. Do you want to try it in two different rooms? One, one okay, to yeah. One yeah, maybe, we, maybe like each of you bounces questions. I said no. I said don't do that. And we'll see if one picks up yeah. something and the other one doesn't. You want to go in there? Yeah, sure. Right. Savannah, you can film in there. I'll film in here. That's the answer, guys. Box, yeah. All right, so a couple questions. What's that? A couple questions. A couple questions each. Yeah. You ready? Yep. One, two, three. Is Jenny here with us right now? Who else is here? Can you give us your name? What was that? Who's walking around upstairs? Two, three. There's a lot of noise. A lot of noise. Yeah. Yeah. There was yeah. something like a voice, like audibly. I felt like I heard with my ear. You could hear something. Almost like a whisper, sort of. Well, I said. Uh, you said, "What was that?" Yeah. When yeah, I said, "Like, what was that?" When there was a noise upstairs. Yeah. yeah. It sounded like a whisper, though. I wonder if it if it caught that. I couldn't tell what it said. You don't play back. Yeah. Play back. Sorry for this one. Yeah. Dude, those, those noises upstairs were loud. Yeah, was, yeah I can hear them loud. Okay. Hold on, play that back. Who's talking around upstairs? Oh, I hear the Gettysburg. It's like Gettysburg is clear. I wonder yeah. if yours picks yeah. it up clearer. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I swear I said I am right before he started asking his question. Last, yeah. Yeah, I think if you listen back right before he starts asking, it says I what, am. It yeah. sounds like it says I am right before he starts talking. And then it says Gettysburg. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I mean, they're intelligent. Yeah, yeah. Seems. Not residual. All right, let's see. Right at the beginning, excuse me. Mm -hmm. What was that? What? That was loud. What? Is someone walking what around upstairs? What is that? 
That sounds like heavy enough to be like a person. Yeah. What the heck? You can't ask for much more activity. Was that, activity if was that a voice? I didn't hear it. I swear I heard a whisper in that one. I thought I heard like a female voice that time. Hello? That was loud. What the f- What is going on? What's going on? We didn't finish playing this recording back yet. Can you can you knock three times back to this? What? It's like someone walking around. What is that? What is that? That literally sounds like dude. If that chain is swinging right now, it's like there's someone walking. Yeah, it's just clear footsteps. Those footsteps are so loud. There was literally somebody just walking around. Yeah. That was crazy. That was actually crazy. Yeah, that was really loud. What the heck? I don't know. Well, this is where that Jesus picture has been thrown. That's been thrown off the wall, and they see the little boy up here behind that bed. And this mirror is supposed yeah. to be like portal yeah yeah predates the civil war what did those footsteps are still out did yeah. you hit the chain savannah yeah i did oh okay <laughs> that's about to say yeah, yeah. we didn't even finish playing that back down there yeah i actually thought there could have been a person yeah that's like why that was so loud yeah that was actually crazy all right let's go back down yeah i noticed none of the equipment's going off either no yeah that's here. weird so it's like you stop paying attention to it that, I mean, it was that was like I thought there was actually you could hear like the, yeah. almost like the yeah, yeah. yeah. and that it was, wasn't like two it was like the entire floor of yeah the, walking across the entire upstairs. that was crazy yeah anyways cool. good start what are you doing huh I'll, I'm just doing my hand motions what do you mean what are you doing <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> I thought you were holding something it says the one that does S just like this hang on that's what you do no <laughs> he does he like lays down and he goes like this. <laughs> Oh, Alright, let's play this thing back. Right, let's see. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Wanna play back? Yeah. What was that? Was that again? That is vocal. It's the girl? It's the girl something? Put, yeah, I'm playing. Play that again. It's, it's the, girl. the girl. And then there's something. It's not clear, really. No. That one didn't pick it up. Yeah, no. That's bizarre. <laughs> I think that it's the girl is what I might have heard out loud. You might have heard that just said yes. Yes. That just said yes. That's, that's what I heard out loud with my ear. That's crazy. That's wild actually. You know what's weird is it's you're the only one that heard it. Yeah. yeah. It's the girl. It's true. And they picked on you. Good luck. Well, I'll, I'll, well, I'll, I did almost get possessed, so. Yeah. Thanks. Good luck. We'll see. What'd you bring with you? Yeah. I don't know one of the tour guides that runs the tours here and we have him on property so i'm thinking we take him upstairs yeah. we move some equipment up there but i mean it's really active down here we've we've had almost every piece of equipment oh, awesome. yeah. and we've heard stuff audibly and we've had audible footsteps we've yeah. had some good evps so let's go grab him he can tell us about the individuals that got scratched yeah. mm. and see if bringing in him in Something that they're familiar with. Yep. So yeah. let's go grab him really quick and then we will uh, we'll move upstairs. All right, guys, if you're enjoying this video, please make sure that you like, hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share this out. Now, guys, we are going to give away another rim cube this week. And the words that we're going to use for the comments are going to be bread and biscuits. Now, you can comment that as many times as you want below. We're going to be picking one lucky winner to get another rim cube this week. We just need 1,100 likes 
and a thousand comments to be able to pull that winner. So guys, make sure you do that below. All right guys, so we are in the upstairs portion of the house right now. Now this is where a lot of that activity that really scares people takes place. So we've had this picture of Jesus fly off the wall. People have been scratched up here. And this used to be a duplex. So when they owned the home and they were living in the home, uh, they didn't actually own it, did they, George? They did not, no. They were just renting. Just renting. The rim pod just hit, by the yeah, way. Did, so they were renting the home, my apologies. But this was a duplex. And the other family that was living on the other side of the duplex, they all probably had the life scared out of them when a 10 pound parrot artillery shell hit the house. It did not explode, luckily, but just from the destruction it caused it actually opened a wall that her body would then be carried through after she was shot and killed now we're going to actually let george here give us a little bit more specifics on the things that have happened up here but this has been a very active part of the house and and what can you tell us about the shadow figures uh, i can tell you a little bit um people do not like this room in particular, I can't tell you. When they step in, they immediately sense the corner. They don't like the corner. It makes them very feel uneasy. I had a woman on the ground. She was holding herself because she felt very sick to her stomach. She felt very woozy. And then as soon as they cross over, they, they don't want to cross back this way because they can see shadow figures moving back and forth. And I had one woman said there was something she didn't like and it's not at this earth in this room. And of course, picture of Jesus flies off the wall. I wasn't here when that happened, Chris was here, but you know, you kind of combine that all together and then with the people getting scratched, the one that got scratched on this side, there's it, it, something here. <laughs> Well, this is the room earlier that I felt uncomfortable in when we first started walking through during the history tour. Yeah. This was the first room that I walked into that like the hair of my arm stood up and I fell off in this room. Exactly. And then we also heard the steps up here. Yeah, this is recording. Yeah. And it literally sounded like somebody was walking up here. And now it's pretty quiet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, and it wasn't one or two footsteps. It was the whole length yeah. of this upstairs. It, it was, was a crazy. lot of noise. The motion detector kept going off on the staircase too. Right. So yeah. it kept trying to lead us up here. And the oh, music box just hit. Hello. Can I put that out somewhere? Maybe, or I'll just hold on to it. If you're in this room here to my right, can you step in front of that device on the ground again? All I gotta do is step in front of it and it lights up and makes a little bit of noise. Let's just change color. Is that you? Oh, I'm I'm the same 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 here. You haven't really moved. No. no. And this one just went off? Yeah. So yeah, so what is, can you explain what this is again? So guys, this is a brand new piece of equipment, and this is from Ghost Stop, it's called the Tracer, but it uses ultrasonic motion detection, and then it gives us a visual display. So anything that crosses over those signals, which is very weird. Like that. The music box was going off, and the Tracer just went off. Yeah. Wait, shh, I just heard a beep. Did you? And we've got another music box on the other stairwell. Right. Oh, oh the, that's uh, what you heard, I bet. That was that's, no, that's the, uh, the EMF detector. Over there. Yeah, and that's where they see shadows, right, George? Shadows yeah, through the windows, right? The windows and the mirror goes off like crazy. And that's right by the mirror. Yeah, right yeah. on that. The mirror and the bed are light like crazy. That's all. Yeah. I'm assuming that's me, Leah. Yeah. That's not music box. Music yeah. box just off again. Can you set off the device by the top of the stairs? It's got a red light on it. All you gotta do is walk and touch the top of it. Can you do that for us? Jenny, are you still in the home with us? It could be the little boys up here playing sure. with us. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a toy. I mean, got all the cool lights on it. It could be Billy. Billy's the one that likes to wreak mischief. Oh, oh ooh, we mentioned his name and then it pops. Hi, Billy. Is that you?
That was the envoy. 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 That's still downstairs, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, in the parlor. Billy, if that's you, can you go up to that red light by the stairs and touch it for us? It won't hurt you. You just have to touch it, and then we'll know you're in here with us. Is Billy the one that likes Dixie? The Dilly's the one that likes to play practical jokes. That is it. Open. Which which one of the the boys likes Dixie? There are two, but like Dixie, I can't tell you their names, but um, they like Dixie. Um, I decided one day, I was like, well, I'm going to test that uh, theory. And I said, all right, so I heard someone like Dixie. So I opened my phone and I played Dixie on my phone. Someone playing with a harmonica and immediately it felt very sick to my stomach. I was like, you should not be playing next. <laughs> and it's like, but it's not my fault. I understand it's not your fault. And, you know, they're told not to listen to that. All right, well, here we go. I think that's the heaters. Yeah. Does it normally okay. sound like that? Oh, wait. That's the mummy here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shoot. Oh. The mobile is showing off in the music yeah. box. It's it right after I finish. I put the mobile here over by the trunk where they see the little boy pick his head, peek his head out. This head. And uh, it's interesting. Peter, you right don't feel there. like. Yeah. Right after he whistles. You want me to whistle that again? Set off one of our devices. Go off. You just like kick that kid in the house. My man. Oh, oh. That's not even in the same spot. Right? No. Can you set off that device now? In the hallway? Or the next doorway? Oh! Yeah, on command. Yeah. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. That's why. That is that so is I, I do think that it does like, whatever it is, likes the music. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, both it's ends. Cool. Both ends. Both ends. Right? Like, so that goes off and then that goes off. Yeah. Are you running back and forth? Okay, come in here now and set these ones off. These red lights right here? Can you move over this device on the floor and make it a set off so we can see you walking? Sway your hand over it, walk over it, whatever you've been doing, so we can see where you are. Did you hear that knock? Yeah. yeah. Like the dun -dun. Yeah. yeah. Hard with the floors being yeah. so right. Look, is that you? No, that's kind of like offset, yeah. Okay, we've got some other equipment on this t on this second floor. If you want us to move into this next room, can you make one of those pieces of equipment go off? So it literally yeah. hit there. It's yeah. like bouncing right between yeah. the threshold there. Consistent. Okay, is this mirror behind me a portal? We've heard that people have seen things in this mirror. This thing. Something here wasn't happy with us downstairs and wanted us to leave. Is that entity still in the building? OK, 
Can you make a noise for us? Stop your feet, knock on a wall. Ooh, oh, that's, that's, a pod. Pod. that's the first time it's going on. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate it. You want to play a game of hide and seek? Or you can play hopscotch on this wire right here. I just heard another voice from behind me this time. Mm -hmm. It's not like it was over here. Woman's voice? Yeah. What if we moved into this room and see if any of this it goes off too? Goes off. It definitely sounded like it was off. I heard something. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was interesting because like the stuff we were getting to wasn't in the room with us, right? Like it was yeah. Yeah. outside. Yeah. yeah. Right. Maybe whatever is up here doesn't like being in the room with you. Maybe that's why people don't want to go back. So like it makes you it makes you feel Correct. its presence to get you to yeah. move out of the room yeah. and then it's happy once you're gone yep. mm -hmm. are you happy that we're out of your room I mean for lack of a better term it's dead quiet yeah, yeah he's not even he's not here Are you going to join us downstairs? Can you set that off? Touch it? Yeah. Okay. Can you grab a hold of it like you just did? If you're going to join us downstairs, touch the top of that device so it goes off again. Thank you. Ooh, we got the yellow. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's, it's red. Yeah. Let it fall away. Yeah. I literally like reached to turn it off and it started going off. Are you the little boy that hides behind the trunk? If I see a little boy pop out from behind that, I'm gonna leave. I'm no, gonna go you home. can't do that. You can't dip out. You gotta go to sheets. I'm literally right. right. Yeah, you gotta go to sheets first. Yeah, true. Yeah. Hashtag sheets. Hashtag sheets. Sponsor. Hashtag sponsor us. <laughs> can I turn this off now? Are you ready to go downstairs? Yeah, set that off on the count of three, and we'll, and we'll all move downstairs and you can come talk to us, okay? He's gonna grab the top of it again when I count to three. One, two, three. Go ahead and touch it. And we'll all move downstairs and talk to you. So I get totally stopped. Yeah. yeah. That's weird. Because we all came in here. Yeah. Follow the same thing though. Well, I think that's what we do. I think we turn all this off. Music box. Oh. See, now it's out of the room yep. again. Again, trying to. That's crazy. It we does come back in here and it steps outside. Yeah. So I think we turn it all off, go downstairs, do some music. Yeah, I mean, you know. whatever's here, I think it knows how to communicate. Yeah. Maybe it wants you. Yeah. It's about their age. It yeah. wants your soul. I mean, Jenny was a year younger than me. So. I was talking about the orphan kids. Oh, thanks. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna shut this off. Feel free to join us downstairs. All right guys, so the room that we're standing in right now actually has a little bit more significance than any other spot we've been because of one reason. And let me show you guys this really quick. This is the actual, one of the three floorboards that was underneath Jenny Wade when she was shot and killed. Now if you look here at the darker portions of this board, that is her blood still soaked into this board. So when I mean that a piece of Jenny Wade is still in this room, it truly is. Also, this clock right here would have seen all of the Battle of Gettysburg. It is original and it is, is 160 years old at least. So guys, this room has a lot of that potential residual activity that we're looking for just because of what is in this room. So we're gonna see what we get. We're gonna do a couple EVP burst sessions and see what wants to come through. So guys, we don't have any other equipment out because we didn't want to have any kind of pollution. So everything that makes noise or lights up, it's not out right now, but I am going to add one other piece that will not interrupt the EVP sessions, and I want to put it right next to the clock. So remember, this is yes, no, left is yes, right is no, green yes, red no. Um, it's just a way for them to communicate with us to get a visual cue, but it won't pollute the EVPs. They could be answering our EVPs in real time too, which is yeah. awesome. Yep. And then we can see if it lines up, you know, if they answer yes, and then we get something similar on the, the voice recorder. Like right. Right. I think we all just ask a couple questions. Yeah. yeah. We'll go around. All right, ready? You guys want to do the first session, then we can do the second one? Yeah, of course. Ready? One.
two, three. Is there anybody in this room with us right now? Who lived on this side of the house? Whose blood is on this piece of wood behind me? Can you tell us what day it is? this question. So, what item are you attached to? Georgia, was it left up to you to advocate for Jenny's story? Is Mr. Wade down in the cellar waiting for us? Mr. Wade, are you very protective over this house? Can you say the word banana? One, two, three. 
The banana. The Adam Kimmel show. Yeah, yeah. Adam, Adam Kimmel. Kimmel. It's always some random word, banana. No, oh, banana, banana is his one. He's a strange man. Can you say the word banana? Oh, banana. banana. Oh, it said yes. yes. One, two, three, banana. Imagine it actually says it though. Man. Man. It's actually Kimmel. I've actually caught it before. It's actually Kimmel's ghost. Right. Oh, right. Dun dun dun. In one universe you are, for sure. At least. Not that time. No banana. No, no banana. banana. No banana. Alright, let's listen back. It's almost like he's like, well, yes, and then it goes like, I'm the sister. Like, I had to? Yeah. Because, yeah. Listen to that. Yeah, listen to that. Uh-huh. Oh, I hear it really yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah I'm the that's sister. Fuck really you, listen. Back real quick. I don't know what I said. It says Nana. Nana. Yeah, it's like Nana. Nana. Yeah, forget the first part. <laughs> Where's the bar? We need the Also, banana. when you asked, when we played it back, I said, Are you very protective of this house? That said no. Oh, really? That went up and said no, yeah. yeah. So, yesterday when we went live in here, we asked if Jenny liked the attention mm-hmm. that was brought. And we had a lot of activity after we Yeah, that. we did. And and we had a lot of activity when we were talking about her grave having a perpetual flag. Right. That's like stuff started going crazy. Right. I mean, that, that just went off. I could see it in the reflection in the mirror. Well, that's funny too, because like, when you, you know, you ask the question, you're playing it back on here, you know, are you protected this house? That says no. It's like, we've tried them before too. We're like, okay, if they can communicate easier through this frequency, what if they can hear the questions easier? Right? Yeah. So we've recorded questions on one voice recorder and played that while recording on another one and got responses. Like maybe they can hear that easier if that's well, like, So think about like a dog whistle. Right. right. Yeah. So that, that noise is right. existing even if we can't hear exactly. it. Exactly. So it's like we don't know if there are different frequency plans right. in which they can hear on. Right. And they have to have another frequency to essentially hear yeah. a separate one. Right. Almost like having some sort of hearing aid in or, yeah. or something. Yeah. So taps so. into to the same frequency or taps into the world that they can hear. And that's the same reason why one DR60 will pick up things that the other right. one won't. Yeah. So. Yeah. And we've used walkie talkies. Yeah. yeah. To see how that helps. Right. Like leave a DR60 in a room or leave a recorder in the room and then leave and just ask questions over the walkie talkie. Yeah. We seem to have gotten some good stuff for that too. So I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. Do you want us to move down into the cellar? Can you use this device to mark yes or no? The left is a yes, the right is a no. Do you want us to go down to the basement where Jenny's body was kept? And talk to you down there? We can put somebody under headphones that can communicate with you and you can use their energy to channel through them. Would that be something you'd like to do? That's well, like upstairs though. Well, that's the thing too. Notice that like we've come down over here now that all that was going on upstairs. Compa- Wait, that said yes. yes. No, I said yes. Are you, are you guys delayed? I mean, we don't know how long it takes right. them to hear. Right, right. 
what we're saying. Where all our takes them to like their energy Respond, around yeah. that. And it's like think about the first session we just did, right? All I heard knocking and footsteps. That said yes. Yes. Those were loud. Though. Yeah. It was doo, doo. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's funny because I was literally about to say like Listen to how quiet it is now upstairs compared to what we were hearing the first time. Like, those footsteps the first time. Right. As I'm sorry, we're talking about that year, the footsteps thing upstairs. Those were loud. Is that Billy we're hearing? Is that a voice? What was it? Did you hear that? Yeah. That was loud. Yeah. That was bizarre. Hello? Billy, is that you? Yes. Yes. Said yes. What's up, Billy? Billy, can you move something in this environment? We've heard that you're able to move objects. Can you do that for us now? Is he outside? I. That's actually not good. Is he outside? You're talking about George? Yeah. I literally just saw somebody walk I was like, I'm shitting you now. I shit you now. See if that door's even open. I shit, dude, I have such huge spots right now. Holy crap. What the heck? Ask him if he... Are you just yeah. You've been inside this whole time? Yeah. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw somebody walk by the window. I 100% swear to God. Dude, that is one of the weirdest things I've seen in such a long time. 100% a person just walked by the window. You saw someone walk by the window? I saw, I thought it was him. I went 100 percent but they were going quick, and that's why I was like, "Was that, why would he be like?" It was just quick, but towards it was, the cellar, though, right? 100 percent, yes. Dude, that was actually crazy. Like that gave me a chill. Yeah, that was wild. What the heck? I mean, it's, it's interesting that I mentioned doing Estes down in the cellar, and then you see something moving outside towards the cellar, which is the cellar. same path her body would have been taken. Yeah, so that's the final step. All right guys, so we have moved down into the cellar. Now, an interesting note to point out about the cellar is this is where Jenny's body would have been brought for 18 hours before they ended up burying her in the flower bed out back, which is now your modern day gift shop. Now, Mr. Wade is known to be an occupant of this cellar, so we're gonna see if he comes through tonight, but to wrap everything up, we are gonna put Savannah under for Estes. Now, for anyone on the channel that is new here, I just posted a video where we came in contact with a demonic entity at a Halloween store in Louisville. That's actually the last time she went under for a YouTube series. So this is her, she's only been under a couple times since that point, so we're gonna see what she gets, but she's pretty traumatic. It was a traumatic experience for sure, so. She's got she's got anxiety now every time she does Estes. It's been hard to connect recently, so we'll see how this goes. But we're gonna see how it goes, so we're gonna put her under and, and see what we get, so. Uh, let's see, where do I want to put the, where are you going to stand, Savannah? Right here by Jenny's body. Okay. So maybe I'll just throw this puppy right here. That's, yeah. a, great, that's a great angle. It's not really a great angle. <laughs> straight up, straight up the nose. <laughs> no, it's like literally just going to get my legs. Hang on, man. This is. <laughs> <laughs> What's the angle you're going to get? Hey, honey. Uh, Hang on, let me, actually, I can probably just put it in the back. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got a whiter angle. Whiter. Cool. Did we get locked in if we close this other door? Yeah, I think we do. Cool. I think we should find out. Do it. I didn't have my phone to text oh, George. They're like, oh, they're latched to the thing. Okay. Oh, probably for the wind, so they don't blow clues. Probably the demon. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I said yes. They said that's exactly why. The demons. Oh, the yeah. demons. Oh. All right, you ready, sir? That's the green yeah. right over there. Here, do you want this camera? I like garlic. 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 I'm a little scared. I don't like having her body behind me while I'm doing it. I don't know. It makes me feel weird. We'll let you know. It's, it's not a real body. It's not. I know, but oh, they, yeah. the spirits here treat it as though it's her actual body. We'll let you know if it sits up. I mean, I've known people that even. <laughs> on the body. Yeah, that's a weird approach. Yeah, that's strange. Sure. Weird flex, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Witch doctor! What? <laughs> what? I said no. Tom! 
Which Dr. Tom? Hello, Tom. Can you give us your last name? Like which doctor is coming? Tom. Tom. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's your first smart thought in like a couple of years, nine years. You get a check. Yeah. Oh, thank you. One for another. Uncle. Are you? Tom. Uncle Tom. That's a lot. Yes. What's your last name, Tom? Aaron. Tom Aaron. Looks like a last name. Dyers. Aaron Dyers. Yes. Thomas Aaron Dyers. Is that your name? Hello. Hello. Oh, did that was the right here. That was that was directly above us. The men. <coughs> when you said that was directly above us, that is that the men upstairs? Are those the soldiers we hear? Walking. Not now. She said not now, that said no. Leave. Is Mr. Wade down here with us tonight? Yes. Ooh. Leave. Why? Mr. Wade, you're very... You're finished. Well, we're not done yet. Not yet. We mean no disrespect. We're just here to talk to you. Mr. Wade, are you protective of this area? Because this was your daughter's final resting place? Don't place? touch. Don't touch. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, if we're on that vein, was there an investigator here that you pinched his butt? It's not like your foot's like coming down those stairs. I just heard something about yeah, Traumatic? Traumatic. Ooh. I'm sure it was very traumatic for you. We're very. Sorry. Very. We're sorry you went through that. Very. Very. That's a terrible thing to have The happen. kids in the basement. Yeah, is this where you guys hit out for the rest of the battle? Let's hope. Okay, Mr. Wade, I got a test for you. Can you tell me how many fingers I'm holding up? If you can visually leave. see me. I'll leave if you can tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Go now. Can you visually see us in this room? Dead. Dead. You go. Yeah, now. I mean, if you killed me, I would I would probably leave. Bullet. Bullet. Dad, you go now, bullet. Bullet. And even go now could be them saying, like, don't get a medic, don't get go someone. Get, go now, get out. Yeah. Get to the basement. Right. Just like be residual even. Who did I just see outside? Who just ran? Me. Who? Me. Mr. Wade. Ooh, Mr. Wade. Dude, I got so much chills right now. That was absolutely crazy. Well, Mr. Wade, were you, why were you running down here? To protect. Oh, to protect. shoot. Dude, what's we, mine? We were just talking about, we're going to go down to the basement. I see him run down here to protect what's his, his daughter. Remember, because I announced that we were going to go yes. down to the yes. cellar to finish up this session. Dude, that gave me That's such crazy. chills, dude. Same. That's absolutely crazy. We're not, we don't mean any harm. We're not I ran. I ran. ran. <laughs> For anyone at home that maybe said You would too. You would too. You, too to protect you can spirit. hear how loud the yeah. spirit yeah. box is. That's unreal. That's crazy. So you Trapped. Ran. Trapped. They were trapped down here. Yeah. Metal. So you ran down here to protect Jenny because you knew we were coming? Mr. Wade, does the trauma of that day trap you here? They did this. Dude, there were supposed to have a couple of them again. Are you angry at the Confederates? Yes. Because Jenny, oh. was, so was Jenny upstairs, remember? She yeah, said she, she, said she wasn't. Feels like angry. something just pulled the back of my hair. Is she standing too close? He said, don't touch. You're very protective of that, what serves as a vessel. Is that why you don't like when people touch it? No, thank you. Do you guys hear so many footsteps yeah. upstairs? It's like walking. Is that the rest of your family coming down here to hide? Tom? Tom. Wait, we got Tom again. Yeah. Tom? Tom? Again. Who's Tom? Was he a soldier here? Yeah. Help? Who needs help? Or did Tom come to help? I am. 
They're coming to help. I am help. Maybe Tom is the help. Yeah, but like he could have been one of the soldiers that helped get her body down here. It was awful. Yeah, they said in the memoirs that the soldiers was a sight you'd never forget. Yeah, because again, they're used to seeing their other soldiers and stuff killed in action, but not a civilian, not a twenty-year-old woman. Okay, I have another intelligence Don't. test for you. Do you know what four? I understand. You don't understand. Can you tell me what four plus four is? Freedom. Uh, was taken. Freedom was taken. Four plus four is not freedom. Four plus four is freedom. America. Hell yeah. America. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Mr. Wade, do you have a message for us? Do you not like having people come no. down? No. Oh, we don't have a message. For sure, no. Are you no. Are you sick of people coming here and bothering Leave. you? Leave. Jeez. Really emphatically yeah. telling us to leave. It's Please cool. go. Again, he's trying to protect Jenny. Right? He's trying to protect yeah. what's his. That he ran down here because he knew we were coming. They don't care. We do care. That just said that's, yes. You don't. Yes, we do. Yes, we, we do. promise. We're very sympathetic to what happened. We're not here to be. We're here. We're here to give your daughter respect for what she did, and to let more people know about her legacy. Did you see that? That was like two or three. Yeah. Like boom. boom, boom. Bullet, Bullet twice. twice. Door. Okay, hang on. I, I think I might trouble. be able to debunk that. We got a water line here. You know. Okay, because that could okay. that little tapping could be that. that. Yeah, so I think that yeah. could be that. Yeah. She said bullet door twice. So I went through two doors. Well, yeah, I did go through two doors. Are you talking about the flight path of the bullet? That's it. That's it. Ooh. What was? Did, did you expect it to be safe? With her being behind two doors? I did. I did. Oh my wow. gosh. That's insane. What What was Jenny doing when she was killed? Can you tell us what she was doing? Why was she in the kitchen? Jenny? Yes, yeah. Jenny. Yeah, what was Jenny doing? Why was she in the kitchen when she was shot? What was she doing? I hurt. I hurt. I'm sure you do. It was a very traumatic experience, I'm people. sure. People. You hurt people. people. Hurt. Wait, are you the one that scratches people on the second floor? I'm trying to protect her. Yeah. It might not be like... It may not be malicious. I right? don't... He doesn't know how else to stop people from... Do you attack you know, people because you're trying to protect? Respect. I attack people that don't respect. 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 Oh, well, just, just think, when when GA came here, he yeah. laid on the body and he got pinched. Yes, yeah. and he got pinched. Back upstairs. Back upstairs. Do you want us to go back upstairs? Do you want us to leave the cell? No. No. Are you're you going back upstairs? Leave. No, leave. Are you going back upstairs? We're here to tell Jenny's story. Battle. Battle. Is the battle going on? Battle. Where, is the battle going on where you're at right now? I can't. I can't We're working. It. Okay, what year is it for you right now? We're working. Tell me the year. Do you see them? Who? Who are we looking for? The Confederates? Help me. How can we help you? What was that? It was like a footstep. No idea. It sounded like it was on the, on the like stone. On the yeah. stone, yeah. Who just came in the room? Who just, just a deep voice. Who just came down here? Can you knock back to this? That was something. That was something. Yeah, I mean, if you want to throw something at me, that's cool too. <coughs> Famous last words. You're Ooh. dead. Oh, not again. Got that before. <coughs> wow. What did I suck in? Whoa. I hate pause. <laughs> Wait a minute. <coughs> I hear. What do you hear? Sick. I hear oh, sick. Oh, oh my God, God. you're coughing. <coughs> See? 
They said you're dead. It just said C. Do you see him? Yeah. Cough? C's C's Do you see him coughing? Do you see Kalani coughing right now? And think he's sick? That means. Yeah. To go. That means out. To go. Are you yeah. gonna make me sicker if I don't go out? Leave. Dead tomorrow. Dead tomorrow. What? You better text us when you wake up. Yeah. What was that? What is that? Am I gonna be dead tomorrow? You folks. Hey, that's right. Trick me. What do you mean we tricked you? Hey, wait, wait, wait. That curtain's moving. Curtain's moving? They're trouble. They're trouble. Die. It what is. was that? What was that? It is moving. Who's over here by the curtain? Can you pull the curtain closed? Is there something moving back then? I don't know. Why are you so negative? Family? Uh, is it a protection mechanism? I mean, maybe he's thinking because he couldn't protect her in life, he needs to protect her now. Like, right. you know some sort mean? of guilt. Yeah, we, we don't mean Jenny any harm now. He's aggravating. You're talking about me? Am I aggravating? You? Damn. And them? And them. Oh, oh, okay. okay. We're included. Dang it. Guilty by association. Something just touched my head. We don't mean any disrespect. We want to tell Jenny's story. What you guys went through here. She's looked at as a hero. Died in service of her country. She has one of the highest honors. A lot of people come here to hear this story. Mr. Wade, can you physically make something move in this room? Do you have that ability? Seems like he's getting, it's getting quieter. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot more. Are you running out of energy? <clears throat> Leave. Again. Okay. Are you through with us for the night? Are you ready for us to go? I heard all right. Yeah, all right, all right. If you want us to go upstairs and pack up for the night, can you say good night or goodbye? We'll respect your wishes and we will leave. We appreciate you talking to us. Again, we mean no harm, no disrespect to your daughter or your family. Go. All right. Okay, I got one more magic trick. Two. No. <laughs> two times two. What is that? Do you know multiplication? Respect me. I'm, I'm trying to. He's like, I told you to leave. I'm, I'm done. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay, do you know what letter comes after C? I'm just trying to see how intelligent you are. Conversation. Yeah, it was definitely like spacing out. Yeah, there yeah, she goes. Yeah, it got quiet. Yeah, you got way. That quieter. was insane. Though. That was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Yeah. You okay? I was like towards the end, it was getting really quiet, so I was getting sleepy. Oh yeah. No, it got real quiet. Yeah. You were all familiar. That was insane. That was absolutely crazy. What happened? The amount of like direct intelligent yes. responses, like on. And then I started coughing, and then you said it knew I was sick. Yeah, you said like sick cough. That would have been a big deal back then too. Yeah, it's yeah. like tuberculosis. Yeah, and, yeah, well, yeah. Any kind of illness at that point. Yeah. You're so what? Going off of there? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Man. That was crazy. No, like I said, who did I just see outside? You said me, Mr. Wade. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Like right in a row. Like. And then he pretty much said he was like coming down here yeah. to protect. Yeah. You said I, I ran. I just heard it again. You yeah. said I ran. Yeah. And we said. Why did like you run? He ran yeah, down he said, here? "Why did you run down here?" And he said, "To protect yeah. what's mine, his daughter." Yeah. yeah. 
Well, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I do feel like I do want to offer him that respect. Yeah, and, absolutely. And kind of just leave this area for the night because yeah. he asked us over and over and over again to leave. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the fact that he offered so many direct responses, though, is yeah. And I mean, that, that that little session that we yeah. had was pretty incredible because it I shows, got leave and go so yeah, many times, yeah, though. Yeah, you yeah. said you got it's touched like twice. Oh, yeah. Something pulled my hair, and then another time I felt like fingertips on the back of my head. Yeah. And so, you said like you know you don't respect people or you, you attack people yeah. that don't respect. Um, maybe he's the on. one that scratch people up. Exactly. Well, we we asked that, and I'm thinking maybe it's maybe it's out of a you're going to show respect. To right. Me. This yeah. isn't a malicious thing. It's a you're right. not respecting me. Get out of my house. Yeah. I told you to leave. Yeah. This is what I have to do now. Yeah. Um. I don't know. So it was wild. Crazy. What a, it was a crazy night. I mean, yeah. absolutely crazy. So. Definitely intelligent. Yeah. I think we uh, wrap it up. All right guys, so that is a wrap on the Jenny Wade house. And I will say that this has been very active from the beginning. Every room that we essentially touched, we had something happen. And then when Steve saw that figure run by the window and we end up moving down to the basement that and that crazy. gets confirmed. Yeah. I mean, that is what we're looking for as investigators is confirmation on so many levels. But guys, what did you think tonight? It was insane. I mean, constant activity through the entire night. Like we didn't know what to expect, but that blew my mind. It, it was, did not stop more than I anticipated by far like you know you hear the stories of places like this and you see a lot of people come here and get activity but that I mean it wasn't even a shadow that was a person I saw a person run by that window um, and then again you you <laughs> killed you know you killed everything like you nailed it every single question down there in the essay session and that just really confirms to me too like okay it really wasn't a play of light or anything like that like I saw what I saw and you confirmed it and man I don't know it, it's it's one of those nights I'm not going to forget, and I definitely want to come back here and spend some more time because it was crazy. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, so my light is also dead. That means we need to go to Sheets and get an appetizer sampler. But huge shout-out to Stephen Dillon. I will put their info below. And then also huge shout-out to Ghostly Images of Gettysburg for hosting us tonight. Um, great people. They run tours not only of the Jenny Wade House and the orphanage, but also of the battlefield as well. So if you're ever in Gettysburg and you want a Gettysburg fix, make sure you go to Ghostly Images of Gettysburg. But guys, this will not be the last you see of Stephen Dillon. We had a great night. My wife is ready for us to leave because we spent way too long filming this video. But guys, we had an incredible night throughout and I can't wait to come back here and see what else we get from the Jenny Wade House. But it is definitely one of those locations that I was kind of hesitant with how small it was, but it did not leave us disappointing disappointed so guys that's the wrap on this video we'll see you next week every saturday at 5 p.m talk to you soon